in September of 2017, a local company called Bamboo Shoots came out and did a TV interview with us for local access television. I've placed a link to that full video down in the description of this video, so go click on that to check it out. But here is the uncut version of the full actual interview and no one has ever seen it before. I didn't know if this was something you guys would be interested in or not, but I've been sitting on it for five years. I figured why not? Check it out. Let me know what you think. So I'm kind of just gonna get this to be its contrasty. Yeah, you're going for a two tool. Um, how you feeling? Should we get a resolution? Yep. Bob Coon, can we get you guys on the bench there? Yeah. I'm put all your check, checkerino here. Can you lower your foot still? You're not gonna need that, are you? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> just take some clips for whatever. Pilot, season one. Yes, yeah. Season one pilot, I'm telling you guys. You must have to watch a lot of YouTube videos, hey? Or no. We watch, not, lot, we watch a lot of YouTube us, because we love it. Just because oh. we want to. Oh. We're, uh, we're pretty shitty it's, it's YouTubers. It's more fun than work. <laughs> we have a lot of YouTube going too, so. No? Oh, you, you haven't worked in ops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's looking nice. You know what? I'm actually really digging this look. Yeah, it's really cool. Start it off. Start off with uh, start off with Rob, I guess, since I already got that one done. Yeah, you got those. So Rob, can I go ahead and get give me a twenty count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's actually good right there. Uh, so we're going to seven. And Karen, can you get you to give me a twenty count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, just heading on there. You only got 10 I am not getting <laughs> <laughs> the count. What channel, what channel is Karen on there, Scott? Uh, she's on one. Okay, that would explain it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we charge you extra for. <laughs> yeah, after <laughs> 20, the price goes up. <laughs> Are you getting any sort of like feedback from Metal, but not it is. glass, so we'll keep this as possible. We want to find out in a hurry if it's not. Yeah. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's good. Good. Oh, you, you set the focus on that for me. Since uh, you and your son mm -hmm. here. Um, tell me a bit about your, your favorite locations uh, or sales or uh, estate sales or garage sales. What uh, what is it about them? About our favorite. Like, what do you mean our favorites? Um, what do you, where do you find like the most success? Mm. It's really hit and miss. Like sometimes the ad is really good and I'm just so excited. And they get there and it's like, oh. like they it's not what they or what I thought by reading the ad. Or sometimes. The ad is very simple, like it'll just have the times, the day, and the location, and, and you get there and it's amazing. So it's, it's hard to know, usually a state, because generally that means that someone is either seriously downsizing or has passed, and so all or a lot of their generally older items are up for grabs, so. And church sales are good too. Yes. Yeah, I found some nice things at church yeah, sales. because that's d based on donations and sometimes, you know, you just never know. Mm -hmm. It's a real crapshoot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, really, we found we found some pretty unbelievable treasures at almost every style of sale you could imagine. Yeah, you just don't know for sure until you get there. Tell me about some of your biggest finds. Mm -hmm. Very hard for yourselves? Yes. yes. <laughs> Uh, explain that back to me a bit, just because all I all I'm gonna get is put on the cameras. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So explain to me kind of right, the, the feelings you go through. Oh um, yeah, right. Um, if you know, you, you said you had to sell some of this. Well, it depends. Um, sometimes, like we'll have a collection of something and we'll be happy with it and really like it, and and then we'll find something that's way better, and then we're like, oh. Well, 
okay, this can go now because look at what we found, you know, like this is so much better. Yeah. So then it's a little easier to let the other things go or the lesser in our eyes. Right. And, you know, I mean, in an effort to not become hoarders, you do have to replace... The H word gets thrown around. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, I find that, yes, you have to start, there comes a point when you have to start refining your collection. Yeah. To just the... Very best. Yeah, the very best, instead of, instead of having it all. Because, you, you know, you, be, just, you just don't have It would be nice room. to keep it all, but yeah. you just can't. And the house is big, and it's full. It is. And, there, you know, there's just the two of us in this yeah. over 1,800 square foot house, and it is full. It's a good thing, though, because a third person wouldn't have any room for anything. <laughs> um, take me into the kind of your selling process. I'm assuming you do most of the selling? Yeah. Tell me what, uh, I guess, you know, we were to sell an item. Mm -hmm. um, what uh, What's your process? So... I put it on, I use Virage Sale almost exclusively, and so I'll take, I'll try and take as detailed and good quality photos as I can because I find that that's very important um, to take photos from all directions and then also, you know, measurements and sometimes if it's an odd item, I'll try and put lists other things you could use it for, because sometimes I feel like people are like, well, what am I going to do with the horseshoe, or, you know, like, and so then you... <laughs> Throw it at your neighbors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, and then um, also to try and be close to my tablet as much as I can, because communication is important, because people, like, they spur the moment, they're like, oh, I want it, I want it, and then if you don't get to them in a timely fashion, then maybe that passion for the item will pass and then they, they oh no, I don't want it anymore. <laughs> so. <laughs> We're going to go for a cut. Mm -hmm. Just make a quick cut there. Yeah. Okay. Um, go ahead and recut. Okay. And there. Yeah, yeah, sorry, we rock, 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 rock. No, that's fine. We're like, this interview's going. Yeah. I've got to cut this into like a five minute piece. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're picking out only the goal. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and three. Yeah, you're good. <clears throat> Tell me about the hells of Virage Sale. <laughs> oh, what well. makes a bad Virage Sale seller and what makes a bad Virage Sale uh, buyer? Um, so, what do you make a basis for? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> Uh, a bad seller, I would say somebody that doesn't ever check their garage sale or it's like every other day or like you need to be on that if you've got things listed and stuff. And a bad buyer, well people that, that click that they're interested and then like they just fall off the earth because you never hear from them again. That's a real pain. If you're interested then you are. If you're not, let me know where you, like just, I don't know. Or you get there and the item is was very poorly explained or photographed, and they get there and it's... Going back to sellers again? Yeah. No. Yeah, well, seller or buyer, well... Oh. Either yeah. or. If, if I'm the buyer. Then yeah. Okay. I'm glad to see you guys aren't, like, nervous on camera. Oh, she was super I nervous. Was super oh, nervous. are you? Yeah. You don't, you don't no. seem super nervous. I, well... No. And it's just like you're chatting with me. Right, right. And, yeah, you have a friendly face, so that helps. Yeah. So. You're the only person that's ever said that. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh. Um, Tell me about some of the distances traveled. Some very, you know, you, you've gone really far. No, no, we no, just stayed in the city. In Regina, mm -hmm. yeah. He doesn't like to drive on the highway. I'm not a big driver, really. No. I mean, I even walk to work. Plus, the truck is like a pig on fuel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we mainly stick, stick to the city. Yeah. Just to, yeah. Any well, anywhere within the city. Mm -hmm. I don't know that we've ever left Regina for a garage sale. In fact. Mm -hmm. I know you've gone out with a couple friends every once in a while to an antique shop out of town, but... Yeah, just out to Davidson. Um, are there any tips, I think she mentioned that you're probably the bargainer on this one, tips to kind of bargaining down that price? Uh, well, my favorite thing to do, I think, is to get a pile. Uh, so, you know, if, if, if you like mm -hmm. ten objects and, and, and uh, if you price it all out, well... Put all those objects in a pile and, and then offer offer a, a lesser amount for the pile and, and I've, I've, I get a lot of success doing that. Bundling. 
bundling. Yeah. That's right. Very Saskatel. You know, you're yeah. very <laughs> Saskatel. <laughs> uh, yeah. Of course you are. <laughs> uh, are there any other kind of tricks uh, or kind of tips to other people out there that you would, you know, I know they're kind of close, kept secrets. Well, we could tell you, but then we'd have to kill you, so. <laughs> about the making your list like what what to stay away from um well for us i guess it all depends what you're looking for but for us because it's mainly antiques and vintage and stuff like that and and we don't have children or anything right. like that anything with that has kid stuff listed we just don't go to those ones because generally you're not going to have something that's super breakable or old or if you have kids, you yeah. don't have nice things, is what she's trying to say. I wasn't going to say that, but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's exactly what I meant. Some people think Ikea is nice, maybe. Not us, though. <laughs> no, everyone has their own taste, for sure. Yeah. Um, so, explain to me if someone were to call you one of the, what we like to call the H word. Mm. Order, what? Order. Oh! <laughs> what if someone called you that? I think about that for a while. I, yeah, I saw that. Although H words, so the swear words, it starts with. Yeah. It's not that many, yeah. Poor? <laughs> Who's calling good. me that? He's not very good at spelling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is, that, yeah. is that an H word? <laughs> I guess it's not an H word. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, uh, I guess, how would you guys take it? And what would your reactions be on their perceptions? Oh, I would just laugh it off. I would probably say that hoarders have pathways and we don't have pathways. <laughs> <laughs> we still have a clean floor. <laughs> I don't know. I know it's not for everybody. I know that it is a lot of stuff and some people are really minimalist and it's just not their thing. And I get that, but it's our thing. It is. I, yeah. I don't like bare walls. I like to hang interesting things on the wall. The, the, the paint is uh, just the background. Um, my my wall paint is not the what I want people to see. <laughs> it's nice. Um, are there any specific items that you just can't get rid of, or oh, would yes. never? Oh, A absolutely. Like I, yeah, we're gonna have to take you around. I mean, we've got from estate sales, we've got two sets of sterling silver silverware. I don't think that I'd get rid of either of those. Mm -hmm. um, the cylinder record player. Um, the bubble glass frames. All the bubble glass frames, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, I've got a hand-signed original etching from uh, Charles, Dickens. Charles Dickens. I would never get rid of that. There's a lot of things. It would be very difficult for us to. It would. I mean, we've got hand-tooled leather uh, photo albums that are antique, full of antique photos. Mm -hmm. um, again, I <laughs> wouldn't even consider selling that. A little uh, automaton liquor bottle, little mm -hmm. things like that, I, I just love. Um, you, I know you probably feel like you're collecting history in a way. Um, where do you imagine this will go when you guys die? someone's super lucky <laughs> <laughs> but we don't have any children or anything no so. and uh, neither of us have any siblings no. either we're both only children so that is a good question it's something I've often thought of is I, I I'm not sure what we're going to do later in life when we're ready to pass our objects on to others I guess I, I guess know. maybe maybe we'll we may have sold off some stuff by then. Maybe when we downsize, if we can't do stairs anymore, we'll have to yeah, sell off a lot and move into a condo or something. Yeah. Maybe, maybe some maybe somebody we'll will befriend us and take care of us in our old age, and we'll just leave everything to them. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, we don't know really. Yeah, that's that's still a mystery that has still that's so we, far away. We're so young. So yeah. <laughs> so young. Tell me a bit about the neighborhood. Uh, what are your neighbors saying? And you kind of what you told me before, and a few other stuff like that. Uh, what about this area that you love? It's a heritage area. There's, there's just some beautiful houses. Uh, 
in this area, I mean, there's some antique million dollar houses just, just blocks away on Avenue. Yeah. Um, again, Beautiful it's, homes. I think again, it's just the history of, of the area, the, the beautiful homes, the architecture. Uh, and that. the people. And the people, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's like a different mentality, people over. It's more of a community, the people that live around here, like people, like where I lived before, I lived there 12 years and I hardly knew anybody, just kind of to see, to wave, and that was it. And then here, the first year, oh my God, I think we knew, like everybody on our side of the block, some people on the other side of the street, and then most of the people across the alley, just like in the first year, because they're like, hey, welcome, like, hey, you're the new people. Like, a lot of people are walking out, and so you just meet them. It's just awesome. It's just a different feeling. Yeah, everybody's just so friendly. It's yeah. like it's like they're already your friend mm -hmm. uh, the first time you, you meet them. Yeah. What uh, what were you they saying about, uh, someone was saying that you guys, you know, killed the old lady or whatever. <laughs> Explain to me <laughs> who said that and what they actually said. Uh, you know what, uh, one of my old bosses who, is probably the best manager I've ever had at, at my job and, and we still keep in contact and he's just such a great guy and he's got such a funny sense of humor and uh, with Karen and I you know we've, we've got our tattoos and, and got my head shaved a little bit and and Karen's got her piercings uh, he was joking around with, with me the one day he said if I if I didn't know you two and I saw you coming out of that house I'd call the police and tell them that you <laughs> Two bikers just killed a little old lady and been living in her house for the last month, and we all had a good laugh over that uh, because, it, yeah, I guess it's just a joke about you know judging a book by its cover, and and, and he knows that that we're just such good and genuine people, and and we aren't maybe as tough as we look on the outside. Tough like a marshmallow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, well, any questions for you? I think he had a, he had a question. I got a few. Brent's can, yeah, absolutely. Actually, uh, Trinity will spot. Sure, I'll finish spots. Yeah, and that's just how Trinity works. This guy. Yes, just talk to me. Yeah, I don't even need to monitor. No, you should be all set in fact. Oh, that's nice. Uh, anyway. <laughs> We're comfy then at yeah, last. Yeah, <laughs> nice little foot still, for sure. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. How'd you guys meet? Oh, uh, can you guys put one kind of the question back in the answer? So if I say, how'd you guys meet, can you say, we met? Sure. You know, oh, how'd you, how did you guys meet? We we met at a bar. Yeah. At a bar in Where the city. Where all quality couples meet. Yeah. <laughs> I I thought she was someone that I knew from high school, and I. And it wasn't. It wasn't. No. So I was I was a little upset that this girl kept ignoring me all night because <laughs> I try to wave and whatnot, and so after. After a couple of drinks, I worked up the courage to go and ask her why she was ignoring me and realized that it wasn't who I thought it was. And, and uh, so we had a laugh over that. And, and uh, we actually knew each other for a year, a year and a half uh, as friends mm -hmm. before we started seeing each other romantically. And I think that was maybe the secret to uh, why we've got such a good relationship because mm -hmm. we were friends first. Yeah. Did Rob make the first move? He did. Yes, my phone number. And I was like, okay. No. You, oh, no, I you took yours. You wouldn't give me your That's phone right. number. You took mine. That's right. Because I didn't give <laughs> my phone number. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, Rob, that's your phone number. You guys go on a couple of dates. How soon did you realize you had a shared love for antiques? I don't know. That was a while. I, it, it had to, it grew on me. Yeah. Because you were over at my house a lot, so you had to really like him eventually. Yes. Because you were there all the time. Yeah, I, I, was, I continually uh, was visiting Karen's house because I had a dog, mm -hmm. and I would bring the dog with me, and she had two house cats, so it was easier for me just to bring my dog to her house because yeah. her cats don't go out that much. Yeah. And so I just, um, as I was over, she would tell me about this antique or that antique, and, and like I say, I just learned, uh, I, I, I grew an appreciation for them. And then I started going garage selling with her on the weekends, and and uh, finding out that hey, I, that's that's kind of neat. I, I guess I, I kind of like this stuff too. What'd your place look like before you met Karen, man? My place was very modern. Totally modern. Yeah. Absolutely, I knew totally, everything. Yeah. You know, stainless steel and the leather couches, and and 
you know, prints on the walls that really weren't worth anything. Bought at an Art Deco place. Um, and again, uh, prints that anyone could walk in and buy. Yeah. My house looked like anyone else's house could look like. That's part of the attraction too of old stuff. It's like you might have the only one. And that's sometimes what makes it hard to sell stuff though too is because you might have the only one. <laughs> and <laughs> yes. then it's gone. So. <laughs> yeah. We touched on it a little bit before, but what motivates you guys to get up? I mean, you obviously put a ton of time into this. What motivates you? It's the treasure hunt. It's, yeah. it, 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 it's very motivating uh, to get up in the morning and dream of all the great treasures you're going to find that day and, and what could be out there just waiting for you. And uh, all you got to do is go, go put those shoes yeah. on and get in the truck and, and get out there and dig. You guys roll up to a sale. What do you think people think of you? Because you guys obviously lots of tats, <laughs> piercings, all in black. What do you guys think people think of you when you roll up on a sale? Those guys are awesome. Yeah. I'm hoping that's what they're thinking. Please don't rob us. <laughs> yeah. I think people, I don't know. I, I think they, they seem to be quite accepting because I don't ever feel like people are really staring at me. Too. I think once we start talking to people and, yeah. and they, they see what we're picking out, they're actually pleasantly surprised. And, and they like to share their stories with us. They do. And I think maybe a lot of people come to a quick realization that maybe we're not like what they thought we would be when we were walking up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. If it was bad. <laughs> We've changed their mind to good. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about something you mentioned actually before that I found super fascinating. You can't buy people's memories. You, know, you can't you can buy an item, but you can't buy people's memories. If you guys want to get a little philosophical, do you guys think the items you get hold a certain bit of that memory, hold a bit of that, their own past, you know, that the, their circumstances that have happened to these items, they, they, you know, the paintings on the walls have seen things. Um, do you guys ever think about that, you know, when you get these items or when you consider these items? Mm, well, I don't think we've ever had anything with like, like a negative energy or anything like that that I've noticed of you. No, no, no. No. And we truly do enjoy just being at home with our stuff and enjoying it. But yeah, I think sometimes things do. They can carry an energy. I don't think we've ever encountered anything that's bad. I think, you know, we did, we do have a, a picture that Karen bought recently at an estate sale of a boy sitting on his rocking horse mm. and it is of a man who is still alive who is 97 years old today and I get a good feeling from that photo. Well we think he's still alive. But yeah he was alive when I bought it. Well you bought it this year. I know but he could have died the next day. Uh, he's pretty old. Well yeah <laughs> that's pretty old. <laughs> it's a pretty mild summer though so he probably. Yeah, yeah you know, it wasn't it was like super hot or anything. If it wasn't winter. <laughs> Uh, that's about it for me. Do you guys have any last? Do you guys have any things you guys want to say that we didn't ask you about? Something you'd like people to know that uh, we haven't touched on? I don't think so. There's nothing. My pet peeve. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, What's your pet? Oh, actually, that reminds me. I got two questions for you. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. What's uh, your pet peeve, Kara? My pet peeve is when you get to a sale and and we're quite careful to be on time. To not come early because people put a time for a reason. That's when they're going to be ready. So we are very respectful about that. And then you get there, and they're like, "Oh yeah, the antique dealer came like two hours ago and cleaned me out because they knocked on the door, so I let them in." That's my pet peeve. <laughs> yes. Get there and knowing it's already been picked over two hours before <sighs> you said the sale was on. Yeah, punished. Oh. Punished for following the rules. Yeah, that's that's one of my biggest ones. Yeah. Do you have one? Um. Bad drivers. <laughs> no, I you know I think I share your pet peeve. I, yeah. I think it's just. I feel it's it's it's, it's, it's rude of the dealers to be knocking on these yes. people's doors prior to the posted time, and then to let them in, and buy everything up at and a lot of times at cheaper than the stickered price. Mm -hmm. It's it only encourages them. 
Of course, so you get in yes. and you get to buy everything. Yeah. Of course, you're going to so do it. So they're going to be doing that to people next week too. Yeah. You know, they're going to be bothering other people that aren't ready to let you into their sale, but but they do. These dealers, mm -hmm. some of the dealers are pretty pushy. So yeah, it makes me sad to yeah. think of it, the it, things it, that we missed out on because we came on time. Yeah. So that's maybe the worst part of you guys. What's the best part? Oh, we can hang out. I think the best part is is spending time with my wife. Uh, yeah, super fun. Karen's my best friend. Karen's my soulmate, and there's so nobody fun. that I would rather be with on a daily basis. And yeah. this is just the best way to have fun. Yeah, and we get to shop too. So I mean, it's <laughs> win-win. <laughs> Who doesn't love spending money? Yeah, that's adorable. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I'd be tearing up today, so there we have it. Shit, man. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, <laughs> you guys should just, yeah. Uh, you you haven't seen this engagement for <laughs> <laughs> you're tearing up, man. Yeah, you should not tearing up all the time. Anyway, that's it for me. Uh, you guys, Goodwill. Okay, you're man. all set. Well, that's, uh, I got a list of shots we're going to need here in my brain. You want to cut this? It's only going to be five minutes. Like, how bad were yeah. we? That you had to be here and film us for like two hours? No, it just. Five minutes? It, 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 truthfully, it, it made it. Yeah. Super easy, it's really good. Yeah. Like that's that's the thing. It's just like, oh, it works. You know, <laughs> you just wouldn't shut up. Is the problem? Well, All right, I think so. the GoPro died halfway through. Yeah, I heard it. <laughs> oh, that's the thing. It's like the GoPro is just for funsies. Those batteries are the shits, man. Oh. Yeah. The Ooh. GoPro. Is oh, my, mine's probably still going. Is it? I don't know. No. Unless you even turn it on. But let me just look at the back. Oh, All right. So. Uh, Oh yeah, she's nine, still going. We rolled the non-empty table. We rolled the wax cylinder uh, record player. Yep. Uh, bubble glass photos. Uh, the stainless yep. steel. Uh, kitchen. Uh, uh, silver. Steel silverware. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. The Charles Dickens. Dickens. Charles, Charles Dickens. Dickens. The general like uh, I think the the, the the like uh, like a couple of room stuff or mm -hmm. it's like yeah mm -hmm. you guys really the loft. Do. You gotta see the yeah. loft. You guys really believe that like wall paint you know like paint is the background and things are very much the yeah you know, like things are so the, much what's more the, interesting. Yeah, so much more interesting. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, oh, the wedding can, rings. The play, wedding play rings. Play yeah. This. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we can. Play so you awesome. Yeah. Open the. No. Not yet. Yeah, don't. Don't. I want to have you. Yeah. No. Yeah. They're delicate. Delicate. We'll wait. Yeah. Oh, we'll no. They're not. We'll get all set up here. You're not that delicate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is a. It's usually written along the edge of the cylinder. Yeah. What it is. Oh yeah. Go ahead. You guys look so good. Oh yeah. That's wax. That's wax. It's a hard wax. Yeah, but it's like a sideways record. Yeah. It's a cylinder record. Yeah. It's so cool. And just. Oh yeah. I'll take a look. I'll show you kind of what our frame looks like. Okay. Slowly moves across. Yeah. Yeah. We get on a record. You get like a song. One song. You get one song per record. So I hope this was an okay way to spend your Friday oh, afternoon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just Not just all of us get EDOs, down. but Not this is close way. enough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the best one would be is just watching the YouTube at work, like you said. Oh, yeah, we watch a lot of YouTube at work. Oh, Even just man, like this thing is so analog, you see all oh, of the... Oh, yeah, oh. Oh. So that's kind of. Oh, what you can see so much of it. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, so we're kind of playing with it, showing like kind cool, of. Cool. Yeah, because you, could, I didn't you, know, like, you, you and your space. So you can yeah, kind of see that's cool. Awesome. I don't know. Getting closer. It's a bit of a stabilizer or smooth, smooth. Did I take it right? So that's kind of what we're doing. This one's just a little bit closer. Okay. I can usually get it going. So you can go like back and forth. Yeah, forward. yeah, yeah. I'm glad we kind of filled up the front of the frame here, though. That's yeah, we're well, just that, kind of a vast of nothing. Yeah, that worked really well. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. And then you go, you just kind of thread into the lake's contact. Yeah, and then yeah, I actually got it right that yeah. So this this was built in 1907 by Thomas Edison. So we're going to want that or for sound Edison. Edison. I don't know if he actually does. Let that keep rolling. Let's just We're gonna roll, 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 ro
Sorry, what, what was your name? Matt. Matt. Matt and Scott. We have two guys who were first named Matt, and uh, we used to have two guys named Scott, but uh, oh. the other Scott... Uh, <laughs> Is that like a requirement? It's pretty much, yeah. I, before I started working here, I was actually Derek. Oh, so, how yeah. Did, how did it change? <laughs> That was unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> your job requirement. Yeah. I don't know. Are you willing to change your name? For so long.